In order for humans to successfully colonize the moon, we need to know the location of critical resources such as ice and how easy or difficult it is to extract these resources from these locations. To this end, NASA will be deploying the Artemis lunar rover named Viper near the south pole of the moon using a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket in late 2024 for a 100-day mission. In this video, we will discuss the mission, instrumentation, testing, and state of progress of the Viper project to date. We know from previous satellite missions and probe impacts that there is ice on the polar regions of the moon. Upon landing on the moon, VIPER, which stands for Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, will wander the moon and use its one-meter drill to dig to various depths and examine the temperature of lunar soil samples. It will use other instruments to ascertain the type of chemicals present in these samples. More about this later. The data acquired will be used to determine the most likely places to find and access ice and other resources, thereby creating a resource map of the moon. Furthermore, it will go into the permanently dark craters in the South Pole where it is thought that water in the form of ice has been trapped for billions of years. In addition to providing a resource map, Viper data, which will include the physical state and composition of ice deposits in lunar soil, might also help scientists determine the distribution and origin of water and other volatiles in the solar system. Mobility testing of the rover is critical to mission success as Viper will experience a complex lunar terrain and extreme temperature conditions. Viper is designed to move through both compact and soft soils. When moving through soft soils, it can lift its wheels independently, dig and sweep through the surface. NASA has now reported that a Viper prototype has successfully navigated a simulated lunar terrain that consists of deep craters, large rocks and slopes. Link in the description below. Viper has several instruments of note that will perform vital science, such as the neutron spectrometer system, which will detect the presence of hydrogen in up to three feet of lunar soil. Hydrogen is part of the water molecule. Another instrument in Viper is the drill system, which has a thermometer and is collectively called Trident. This precision drill's cutting teeth are made from carbide, which is roughly 10 times harder than steel. After drilling into the lunar soil, an instrument called Near Infrared Volatile Spectrometer System, NERVOUS, will then decipher if the hydrogen detected is from a water molecule, hydroxyl, or just hydrogen gas. Other molecules like methane, carbon dioxide, and ammonia can also be detected with this instrument. A mass spectrometer will also be among the instruments on Viper. Oxygen and hydrogen can be obtained from splitting water. Hydrogen and methane in combination with oxygen can be used as fuel components. Hence, these chemicals are very valuable resources. On-site resource utilization is a critical first step to colonizing the Moon and Mars. Are you excited about this project? I know I am. I will keep you updated. For human colonization of Mars to occur, NASA will have to develop a method of landing heavy payloads in the range of 20 to 45 tons on Mars. To date, NASA has successfully landed just under two tons on Mars. To learn of an amazing technique that NASA is developing to fix this, click here. All links to materials used to make this video are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Cheers!